12:17 now and now that it's dried up a little bit outside or at least it stopped raining people are probably looking forward to going for a nice walk or something outside it's been a while but if you're walking near a river one of Not those so much it's a little hit or miss i know we yeah. saw some uh, pictures coming in earlier this afternoon through social media of people walking out what, on what would normally be a walking path right. or a bike path and it's shin deep just water. part of water yeah because some of those rivers are running a little bit higher they're going to kind of reach their max this afternoon or overnight tonight and then steadily start to drop but they are going to stay in the risk for some minor flooding all the way through to about Saturday. So for right now, like we mentioned, yes, it is dry. We're not dealing with any rain anymore, but it is a kind of a back and forth between clouds and sun. So the rivers that we're really keeping a close eye on the ones that are back up into that minor flood stage, that's going to be the Pocketuck, the Wood River, the Pawtuxet River, as well as the Taunton River. Blackstone not looking too bad. Woonasquatuck is also a little higher, uh, kind of traveling right through Providence. Uh, so do be on the lookout for that if you live, work, or kind of travel along those rivers. Do keep it in mind because it's going to stay high for the next couple of days. And the reason for that high level, uh, high river levels is uh, the impressive amount of rain that we got over the last 24 hours. Uh, just shy of about two and a half inches. Kingston 2.38. Uh, East Greenwich just shy of two inches. We're seeing Somerset just shy of an inch of a half and Cumberland not too far off with 1.43 inches of rain. For the past couple of months we've seen uh, since December almost five to ten inches of rain for a number of locations. We also saw some pretty strong wind gust overnight last night. Communicate back up to about 53 miles an hour. Swansea 49, Newport 43, Providence also seeing that peak wind gust of 43. It's still a little breezy out there. We're seeing sustained winds anywhere from about 15 to 20, gusting upwards of about 30, uh, 25 miles an hour. As soon as you travel back out towards the water, it's uh, continue to kind of ramp up some of those wind speeds. 38 for the Vineyard and Cape Block Island, 40 miles an hour. That ferry uh, service is shut down for the second day in a row. We will stay pretty windy for the rest of the day today, but overnight tonight, we do start to see things kind of wind down and we'll be looking forward to some quieter conditions right now. Not too bad temperature wise. It's kind of interesting. We already saw the warmest part of our day earlier this morning. A few spots woke up to temperatures already in the 50s, and now we're actually starting to lose a couple degrees over the past couple of hours. We're again dry out there. The warmer air all thanks to this nice warm front that brought all that moisture yesterday. We're not going to stay warm for too much longer, though, as you can see, you see where the snow showers are kind of starting to set up across New York, Pennsylvania and kind of drop down into uh, New England. That's right where some of that colder air is, and that'll be kind of dropping across our area overnight tonight. So with the clear skies and the cooler temperatures, we're actually going to be back down into the 20s overnight tonight. But he yeah, look at that temperature trend again this morning. That daytime high temperature today was about 51 degrees, but it was at 7 AM. We're going to continue to cool down into the 40s and then eventually back down into the 20s tonight. Beautiful clear skies for this evening, so it'll be nice for any stargazing or anything like that. But again, you're uh, going to be bundling up if you're heading outside because it is pretty chill chilly out there. Next couple of days we stay in the 40s and we're going to be seeing some more sunshine out there. So Friday and Saturday we're looking drier so we won't be adding to that risk for flooding, but the water will be staying high through till about Saturday afternoon. Next week starts off quiet, followed by a chance for our next system next Wednesday. You can head over to our website. That's WPRI.com. We've got the full seven day forecast over there. You can check it out anytime you like. All right. Sounds good, Brittany. Well, and stories we're working on coming